time of the day was it? Uh, half past five. It was nearly dark. I was working under a tractor. Oh, where I am is cane, but there's there's some scrub and all that sort of stuff around. Oh, I was broken down. I was, I was up near the shed, taking this broken tine off. The hair stood up in the back of my neck, eh? I turned around. This big brown bloody thing was running across the yard. So I thought I'd get into it. It is, you're dreaming, eh? So I turned around again, and I was hammering away again. The hair stood up in the back of my head. This is a couple of minutes later. And... It ran past back the other way, eh? You were working close to the shed, just by yourself? Yeah, no one else there. Well, there's, open, there's a fair bit of open ground between the cane. you got, you got the bottom river flat, then you drive up, you got the house. And down on the left-hand side, a couple of hundred metres, you got a bit more cane. Go back to the right, and there'll be probably three or four hundred metres, you got a bit more cane. You know how, when you get the shivers, here's the button the back of my neck, and I just sort of have to turn around. This thing was about how far away from you? Oh, it was about 60 feet, 70 feet, brown hairy thing. Partly covered with hair or, or covered all over in hair? Oh, it had a fair bit of hair on it, I think it was nearly, nearly all covered. Was it really long hair or was it short hair, you know, like a short haired dog? Oh, it was long hair, I would have to say it was about seven and a half or eight feet. Well, it was built pretty, pretty heavy built. Would it be two foot tall or me and half again a thick? When it was running, was it running sort of hunched over or was it... Pretty much straight up and down like we run. I watched it round the shed, and just round the shed there is a couple of trees and a few bushes, you know. Ran directly into that? Round the corner of the shed there, yeah. Had anybody else spoken of anything like this in that area? Have you ever heard stories of these sorts of things? Someone reckoned there was something up there a couple of months back, somewhere around the Scotchy Pocket area or Ganelder area. What happened after you saw that? I mean, did you tell anybody? Or? Yeah, I told a few people around here. And what were their reactions? I mean, what's the general reaction when you tell people this stuff? Oh, they look at you silly, eh? Was there sort of more hair on any part of the body or was just sort of everywhere and all over, like longer on the arms? I think it was longer on the arms, yeah, like than on his back, eh? Yeah, it had pretty reasonably straight hair, eh? Oh, okay, so it wasn't sort of tousled or wild or anything like that and scraggly. Were the arms the same size as a person, or a bit shorter, or a bit longer? Just a touch longer, I think, you know. Didn't make a sound as it was running? No, I didn't hear a thing. 